morning. It is Monday and I just realized that I didn't do any videos yesterday. <laughs> uh, we need more lights in the front waterfall. One, two, three, four. There's only four. And one of them looks kind of weird. They're, they should all be this bright color. And that one looks kind of dim, kind of orangey, like this tree. All right, it's early. I have been up since 3.30. Um, yeah, 3.30. And I have been crafting. We watched uh, a rally last night on TV. It's really feeling like winter is coming. And Shandy's doing well. I, a couple of you asked how she's doing. She's doing really well. She's been super connected with me. I mean, like, beyond. <laughs> if you're wondering what that is, <laughs> that is not a scary ghost for decoration. The cover to the, the, I don't know what you call that little fire pit thing, um, blew off the other day and honey just brought it in because it was really windy. So let's take a look at the ambiance early in the morning. Look at that. Ooh, it's chilly out here. Really chilly. But I just love looking out the window and seeing the waterfall. So beautiful. And Honey doesn't like me to come out here at this hour because um, there's mountain lions. <laughs> I kinda see some fish. Oh, yep, there's fish. There we go. They're really slowing down. Whew. Wow, so pretty. It's going to be hard to leave here when it's time to do that, but you know what? Oh, we got our new hot tub cover. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but it is so awesome. And... We ordered it to be the most energy efficient that we could um, so that we save on electric. You can kind of see back there. Look at all that wood. I'll show you again in the daylight. But yeah, winter's coming. Okay guys, one thing that I noticed <laughs> is that I have not yet shown you my fall decor. So I don't even know if I've shown you this. I saw somebody's video where they had this giant magnet on their dishwasher. And look how stinking cute and perfect that is. I feel like I need one for the freezer. All right, so fall decor. So here's up on the top of the cabinets. And I love, love, love that there is room on top of the cabinets for decor. This area, I need to water that. That looks very sad. But I have my, and these are not fall. These are up all the time. But my little um, succulent area, there's a bird feeder on the outside. My little owls with their succulents. This is kind of sad, but I'll take care of that. And then up here, this is a thrifted basket. Oh, you can't really tell it's a basket, but it's a basket. And I stenciled on the front there. And then I picked up this copper teapot that I put there and this really cool, I don't know what you call that. Um, anyway, put some mason jars in it, but that's an actual wood handle. And yes, I took my nails off. 
and then some more fall flowers. I leave this like this all year round. I just love the reindeer and the Christmas trees. They're just pine trees when it's not Christmas. So I will add to that to make it Christmassy. And then over here, this is the Hoosier cabinet that Honey loves so much. I don't particularly love it as much as he does. I'd rather have a bigger piece here. But anyway, I love this. I picked that up at Hobby Lobby a while back. I've got the deer. There's a squirrel up there. Some, some dimensional pumpkins. And then we come down. We have the word blessed. And I just filled this galvanized little tray um, tote with all kinds of fall. I picked um, these little copper containers up. A good friend of mine gave me this. Hi, friend. <laughs> um, okay, this doesn't go here. The neighbors, <laughs> the neighbors were um, were like, "Hey, you guys need to try this." So they gave us that anyway. Okay, so this area um, is kind of coffee barish. Um, I just keep the things here. There's tea and apple cider. That actually sounds really good. There's cocoa back there. And then I picked this up at Timu. Uh, this is another copper item that I picked up at the same time I got the other things. It was like a Facebook marketplace thing. I got a few cookbooks there. This plant is called a resurrection plant. Savannah got this for me. And you fill this up with water, and I will show you later today. I've shown this plant before. You fill this up with water, and I will show you later today um, how this plant will open up and get green. And anytime it, it goes dormant, this is what happens. I just have not been good about keeping it watered so this is something that's just out because <laughs> I had I, I brought it in the other day from my building it doesn't go with the fall decor <laughs> but it's ready in here for Christmas and I'll put poinsettias and things in it look at my little owls are they not super cute and my reindeer are out year-round I just love them I just love them and I love this so much but anyway okay let's move along all right so this is that buffet that I got for free on Facebook marketplace honey and Blake went and picked it up for me actually when they brought it home it had China and silver in it and um, honey called the lady and she's like oh dear yes could you meet me somewhere and I'll get it back because it was kind of far anyway so up here we have the two tobacco baskets and that greenery is a wreath and I got the pumpkin spice sign from Timu <laughs> and then we've got some glass containers and I just had some fall leaves that I kind of spread throughout. The owl is new. I got that at Hobby Lobby. It was like on clearance, 90% off. And I just thought it was perfect for fall. And then we have all of our family photos. And then a few more fall things here. Um, we've got our glorious door. And then this actually is something I kept on top of the fireplace, but honey's been making fires. So that really pretty display. And yeah, that's, that's our fall decor for this year. So I'm going to start taking it down today and getting ready for 
the most glorious time of the year. All right, I'll see you guys later. Well, here's a stark difference from the last video. So it's about noon. There is the new hot tub cover. And here are the fish. Look at that one over there. They like to, to go against the current. So a lot of times they like to get under the waterfall. And that one, where to go? Right. Yeah, that one right there was just trying to swim up that little there. So anyway, there's the gang. And there's the noisy one. It's chilly out. I pushed all the chairs back. We're gonna move the table and roll up the carpet. So uh, when it does start snowing, um, honey can snow blow the deck or I can snow blow the deck. <laughs> the door is phenomenal. I just can't get over how much I love the door. Okay, this is the back door. And then we have five suites. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's going to be this wall. The kennels will go on this wall facing each other. Then on the other side will be... Diana's drying station and Tristan's drying station. Hallway to the front. And then this is the utility room for the, I was going to say the hot tubs, for the um, hot water heaters. Here's the bathroom. So it's pretty big. I think we could fit a cabinet here and a cabinet here. The toilet's going to go back over here. We got tub, tub, tub. And then this is going to be like a sink tub here. So we brought this out from there we brought this out at like three and a half feet <sighs> so big tubs are in sink is in then washer dryer cabinets refrigerator at the end front counter and grooming room Hey guys, it's early. Well, it's almost seven. That's not too early. <laughs> I have been up since about five. <sighs> the other morning, I got up at 3.05 and couldn't go back to sleep. So I was just like, ah, oh, start my day. Um, anyway, yesterday was Tuesday. And I don't often get sick. Really just don't often get sick. But yesterday, I had a really bad stomach ache. And I don't know why. It's really strange. Um, so I went to work. I worked. We, we had kind of a light day. Thank you. And um, I got home about 3.30. And just laid in bed. I wanted to finish watching my latest favorite show. And I need you to tell me. Did you guys watch Manifest? Uh, so, I guess it ended about a year ago. And I found it on Netflix. I was just searching for a new show to kind of get involved in. And um, started watching Manifest. If you don't know, it's about these people who boarded a plane in Jamaica. Um, and they were coming to the United States. And 
somewhere in the midst of their travels. I don't even know how to explain it. The plane disappears for five and a half years and then it reappears and they have to go through these five and a half more years of these things called callings. Anyway, it's a great show. I really, at first it was a little bit hard for me to get into it, but then once I did every night, I could not wait to get home and watch the episode or episodes that I was able to cram into one evening. Um, I do a lot of my fussy cuttings for my projects while I watch TV at night, so it works out really well. Um, but when it was over, the show, its and I think it's fantastic when a show can really create feelings and emotions in you that open your eyes to things going on in your own life, in your own family, and it really did that. And as I scrolled, because I, I finished watching, I just had an episode and a half left when I got home at 3.30, so by like 5.30, because I came home and took a shower and all that, by 5.30, I was done. And I need to find something else to watch. So I'm scrolling through Netflix. And lo and behold. And I've already seen this movie. But I watched I Can Only Imagine again. I had seen it for the first time. After my mom had her stroke. And it was very emotional. Um... And then I watched it again last night and honey came in and he's like, why are you crying? And I just, that movie is so incredible. If you haven't watched it, you really should. And the movie is about, is a story of the person who wrote the story, or not wrote the story, wrote the song, I Can Only Imagine. And um, if you haven't heard of it, Google it, I Can Only Imagine. And um, I just sobbed for what seemed like almost an hour. And it really opened my eyes even more than the other show to forgiveness and how important that is in our lives. And it almost felt in some way, and I don't know if it's true, but it kind of felt like if you harbor this anger if you harbor these feelings um, that it's much more difficult for you to get to heaven and um, you know for those of you who've been around a while you probably know who um this might affect in my life. And, um, I want to be the better person. I really want to be the better person. It doesn't mean I still don't want to tell my story because the truth is the truth, no matter whether there's forgiveness or not. But I just, it was like it opened my eyes to the importance, not just for myself, but I guess for myself, to rid myself of this feeling. And last night I was able to just purge that. And it's funny how sometimes something 
as simple as a television show can take you to a place where or a movie can take you to a place I mean in the movie I can only imagine the father beats this boy I mean beats him until he's you know 20 years old and finally the boy gets away and um, let's just say in the end there is forgiveness and I thought you know if somebody can forgive that then why can't other people forgive things so much smaller than being beaten for 20 years of your life living in terror for 20 years of your life anyway if you've watched the movie, let me know. If you've watched I Can Only Imagine or if you've watched the show Manifest. And if you've watched Manifest, I mean, and, and if you've watched I Can Only Imagine, let's talk about it. Um, I always feel this sense of loss when I get involved in a show and my characters are over. So, right now I'm watching the series finale table read of the show and um yeah i'm just gonna watch some i wish there was a facebook page because there's a facebook page for designated survivor um which is another show that i just loved and i loved uh madam secretary i really do love political shows this was not a political show at all um it was a human relations show and a mystery, a mystery. It's still a mystery. Even though it ended, it's still a mystery. Um, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> I have a new backdrop. My new backdrop is, and let's see. It's the Northern Lights and Barking Dogs. So yeah, I got a lot going on on here. Um, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, I gotta go get my shot, um, my cortisone injection today. So I have to leave in about an hour and 25 minutes. It's supposed to snow substantially today and it's supposed to start about when I have to leave. Um, I do not have my snow tires on yet. My snow tires are here, but I need to get an appointment and get them put on. <laughs> so the new shop, oh my gosh, the new shop. It's come as far as it can go without an inspector. So all the wall framing is done. The part of the electrical is done. A majority of the plumbing is done. Not a majority, maybe half the plumbing is done. But then they have to have an inspector come in and inspect what they've done before they can proceed. So we are three months and a day until the end of my lease where I'm at. So I'm really hoping that we are on the inspector list pretty soon. I would love to move out the first week of January. Look at me. I have my, I took my, I took my uh, acrylic nails off. And look what I did. Ah. So I decided I hated going to the nail salon and spending two hours to get my, uh, my nails and a pedicure done. So I decided I would just let my own nails grow out. Cause when I took off my acrylics, my nail underneath was pretty sturdy. And so I, I talked to Savannah about it. Savannah's a nail expert. And she's like, yeah, mom, but go get um, gel polish put on to protect your nails uh, because they're weak underneath right now. So I'm going to let my nails grow out and I'm just going to keep them maybe just a teeny bit longer than this, but I, I like it. It's much easier to type. That's for sure. Okay. Well, Shandy is doing great. She's back to the just puppy crackhead she was before she had the babies. 
So I'm glad that she, um, because some dogs, they, it takes a long time for them to recover from what happened. Um, but anyway, winter is setting in and you guys know that makes me happy. Although this year I will say I really learned to appreciate the summer. And when I say summer, about the hottest it gets up here is 85. And that's kind of rare. We may only have like two weeks where it's like 85. Um, but yeah, honey's looking forward to making fires again. He's chopped a lot of wood. Sunday, he spent the day, the entire day. The neighbors are doing clearing because um, it's hard to get homeowner's insurance up here. <laughs> Um, unless you're completely cleared within 30 feet of your house. So they just bought that house a year ago. The insurance said they were going to drop them unless they got it cleared. So they have been clearing and clearing and clearing and gave all the trees to Alan. So he went over yesterday and just, he put the grapple, this kind of grapple thing on his tractor. And he just would go over there grab trees, bring them over, put them down, go back. He spent probably about four or five hours doing that. So we had, he told me, he's like, if we stay here three years, we have enough wood to put in our fireplace for three years. So, and it's free. Normally a truckload of firewood is like $300. So the fact that I have a husband who's like, no, 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 no. I will take care of it. And I just love that. Um, I always knew I needed to find a man like my dad who could do anything. And I sure did. Okay, look. I found this. I think I found this at Hobby Lobby. Isn't this cool? So I'm going to... I'm going to alter this. I'm going to paint it and do things to it. I love it. I think it's so pretty, but it's obviously bigger like this, but I like it kind of to set on a table like this. So what do you think of that? Um, also, I am kind of letting my hair grow out. Um, I had to miss my last hair appointment because that's when the puppies were due. And so I called my hairdresser and I said, I need to cancel my appointment. I'm not sure when I can rebook because, you know, I was expecting to have the puppies and having to take them with me every day to work and all that. So I just kind of left it open-ended and I just decided maybe I'm going to let it grow out. I do need to put some, she was putting like black under, you know, underneath. And, of course, that's been a long time since we did that. But I may, ha may go over there and have her do that. But anyway, um, I haven't talked to you guys in so long, like a face-to-face, -face, that I thought I'd do that this morning since I had to get ready early and um, for my doctor's appointment. All right. I'm going to get back to a little bit of crafting before I have to go. I still have about an hour and 15 minutes. And um, I appreciate those of you that watch. I know there's probably one or two of you out there that um, I think you know who you are. Anyway, hello to you too. Um, yeah, so excited about snow today and I will show you some videos as we go. Bye guys. Look what the employees do here. Look at those. <laughs> so funny. Say hi, Savannah. Hello. Look at her. She's pretty. She is pretty. She'll be prettier after her haircut. She's a really cute dog. We have a, a house full today. And the little kids that come trick-or-treating from the daycare, they already came. And um, I just got here and they already came. Oh, our retail space is going to look real different in the new shop. 
6 o'clock Sunday night. Look at that. I wonder what it'll be like at 6 o'clock in the morning. What do you think? I have a bunch of Christmas stuff unpacked. Let's look out the front window. Fire's going. You can see the reflection of the window out the back. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens in the morning. Well, guys, I think it is official. Snow has officially arrived, and thus winter has arrived. It is Monday, the day before the election. We got all the water features filled to the brim so that there wouldn't be any freezing issues. And look how stunning. And there's some prints down the driveway. You can't see them from here. Well, those are tracks from Honey's vehicle. But there were prints going down there and we suspect they were mountain lion. Sun's kind of coming out. That's how my car looks. Yeah, I would say we got maybe about eight or ten inches. <laughs> That's Shandy scratching, if you're wondering. Okay, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, Christmas is. I've already decorated quite a bit, but I'm going to save that for the next vlog since I just showed you fall. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one. And Shandy says bye.